Okay, so I've had the opportunity to kind of use this Sony ZV-1F for about two weeks. And I've got to admit, it's fantastically frustrating. There are things about this camera I really like. There are things about this camera that make me want to pull my hair out. But I think ultimately, I've come to a decision about this camera and where it fits into the content creator landscape. Let's talk about that. Hey there everybody, this is Mike with Low Def Media and today we are gonna be talking about the Sony ZV-1F. Now, this is a very interesting camera and if you are a content creator, if you enjoy watching YouTube, you've probably seen plenty of videos about this camera. And a majority of content creators do think that it's better than using your cell phone, but it's not as great as the ZV-1 or two of the other cameras that Sony just came out with, the ZV-E1 or the ZV-E10. So where does this fit in? This to me is, like everyone has said, is a beginner's camera. But it does things better than just using your phone. It's way more convenient. But you know, today's video really isn't about the nuts and bolts of this camera. The more I used it, the more I came to a realization that I wanted my expectation for this camera was for it to be perfect. It's labeled as a content creator camera. So I wanted everything that came out of it to look just like those content creators that I follow on YouTube. The problem with that, the problem with that is that this camera is not designed to be perfect, nor is any other camera. So what I realized was that this camera is just pretty good. And you know, in the big scheme of things, pretty good is usually good enough. This camera will do everything a content creator needs it to do in order to create content for YouTube, for Instagram, for TikTok. It's got all those things built into it. And so if you're looking for a camera that's convenient, that's easy to use, that will allow you to do all of those things, well, then this is it. And it's a very inexpensive camera when compared to other cameras. $500 is a lot of money, and if you're already using the cell phone in your pocket to create your content, and you really would rather not, you know, spend the 500 bucks, totally get it. Cell phones are amazing, and they can do a lot of amazing things. But I enjoy having a camera in my hand. I don't want to start filming something and get a text message or a phone call or any number of things that happen with your phone. Also, your phone is limited on the amount of data or storage it can hold. This simple SD card, swap it, you're ready to go. So at the end of the day, this is about low def media, finding low cost alternatives for your technology and fitness needs this is a low cost alternative to using your cell phone. Is it perfect? No. Is it really good? Absolutely. Good enough to do what content creators need it to do? I believe so. Like I said, I used it for a couple weeks, went outside, took some great pictures, got some great video. Is it, is it gonna do everything very easily? No. I was very frustrated. There were things that worked, some that didn't. Now what I did do, here. One thing that I highly recommend with this camera is this, an ND filter. And let's see, do I have the product? Yes, I do. I've got the product showcase on. So I'll do this. And so this is just a, a variable ND filter. Let's see if it'll, let me get the uh, product showcase on. Bah. Anyway, so this is an ND filter. I can't find, see, and this is one of the frustrating things. I know it's on, but it's not working. So anyway, ND filter, absolutely um, recommend this just because there are not ND filters built in. And this uh, little 40.5 to 52 millimeter um, uh, 
thread, or what do they call it? Um, anyway, this allows the 52 millimeter um, ND filter that I already have uh, to work. And so step up ring, that's it. So I, I highly recommend that. But uh, hey, this is not gonna be a long video. Just wanna let you know that this camera is pretty good and will do everything you need it to do to create your content. So if you're looking to change up from your phone and you wanna dive in to an entry level camera, this is it. And then once you get uh, you know a little more familiar with how the camera operates, maybe then you step up to some of these other really advanced, more expensive cameras for your content journey. That's all I got for you today. Thanks again for checking out the channel. If you like this kind of content, become a subscriber. And if you like this one, hey, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, it really does help out the channel. So that's it for me. We will see you in the next one.